Hello, I am Yogi Nisunita and this is Meditation, Yoga and Stuff podcast. I believe my dharma or my life's purpose is to share my understanding of meditation, yoga and Ayurveda, holistic healing science of India. I make these amazing wisdoms accessible and adaptable for present times. So let's start. Hello and welcome to the podcast. Today's topic is change your habits, change your life. Now you may have heard about this proverb before and uh, this or maybe it is new for you. But this is how we think in Ayurveda. Uh, So Ayurveda is a healing science of India. And in Ayurveda, it is believed that a lot of our illnesses, the root cause of our illnesses or feeling low in energy or not feeling well, all comes from um, our lifestyle. And if we look at uh, what is our lifestyle, is basically our daily habits. If we start noticing what's happening in our life and, and our daily habits, actually that shapes who we are really. You know, um, it is very important to understand that our daily habits really shapes our life, not just our whole being, but also our life as well. Say, let's take example of uh, if you have a habit of a daily routine of maybe going for morning walk, which is a positive habit, uh, which will obviously positively impact your health, your productivity, uh, because your body is active, joints are moving, you know, muscle, there is a, a strength in the muscle. So all that this is... Uh, just that 30 minutes or one hour walk, which you do every day. Um, but if we look at like if you wake up and don't feel motivated and then, you know, you're waking up late and then are not able to uh, do physical activity first thing for uh, some reason, uh, maybe there is no motivation or you don't feel like. So that is going to impact your system as well. Personally, I... Uh, I'm talking from my own experience. So uh, when I wasn't well um, for 18 months, I had Ross River virus. Uh, You may have heard this before in my podcast. So uh, what happened in that uh, uh, virus that uh, there was a lot of joint inflammation and it was quite painful. It happens due to mosquito bite. And the side effect of that was for me was a lot of inflammation in the joints. So obviously, I wasn't able to get up and go for my walks in the morning, which I did miss. But I also started noticing that how that impacts my life. Like I don't feel energy. I don't feel that connection with the nature. And I I started missing that. And then over the period of time when I started feeling better, my lazy mind actually took some time uh, for me to come back to the discipline because lazy mind was saying, oh, let's stay in the bed, you know. And so um, I had to kind of like uh, make this resolve to come out of the bed and go for a walk. As soon as I started going out of the building uh, and noticing the beauty of the nature around me, I felt good, but that starting point for coming out of the bed, <laughs> you know, that was uh, initially for a few days, it was challenging. And so I had to shake that off and start bringing in this habit of uh, going into the nature, connecting with the nature, walking. Initially, my walking was very slow. It's slowly now taking some speed, but it is also a very joyous thing for me. I'm really enjoying that. Then I also noticed that, uh, you know, uh, asana, the physical movements of yoga, the breathing practices, the meditation, these are all really amazing habits. So if you start your day with a very positive way, you will notice the impact of that in your life. Now, if you start your day uh, with uh, negatively, in a sense, like, you know, um, 
uh, any habit maybe which is not serving you now what that could be it's really looking into what is not working in your life at this moment so if you sit back and notice that and most of the time we know but we don't want to go there and these ha- there are reasons for sometimes we carry these habits right so uh, the the reason is quite deeper uh, seated into our mind so if we start going towards that deeper reason sometimes our system doesn't want to go there and so how can we still work with our habits how can we change the surface so that we can slowly change the deeper or remove the deeper roots of the habits which are not working so first thing is my suggestion is uh, start slowly start slowly and steadily that's the way to go um so you can take one habit at a time so you can start with one habit and uh, bring that in your uh, day to day life and uh, next month maybe you can take second habit uh, see if that kind of attitude works for you you can also tune into the habits which are not working even just that awareness is quite impactful so uh, uh, this is where yoga wisdom of yoga comes in so in yoga we believe that awareness is the first key so once you become aware you cannot pretend uh, that you know you're not noticing it so it is very important to tune in to that uh, become aware of that what is really not working in the life a lot of time uh, this reaching to this awareness is also uh, quite a life changing moment so it takes some time for us to understand what is not really working once we know that then not just knowing and just let it be like what what is going to happen from here is that now you're aware and if you push it back it will create more uh, confusion and stress in your system so it is better to change this uh, habit which is not working for you so you can choose what you are going to replace this habit with so always if we want to remove something we need to add something positive so if you're ne- removing say if you're t- drinking maybe uh, four or five cups of coffee every day so re- if you want to remove that cup of coffee i will remove the most harmful one which is the most harmful one the last coffee say if you're taking it uh, towards the end of the day that will keep you awake at night so let's start there so i'll remove that cup of coffee and i can add something maybe like a herbal tea or something which will be a reward for the system you know a positive reward so uh, don't replace coffee with maybe a bar of chocolate that's not going to be helpful but what if you replace your coffee with a uh, uh, herbal tea which is uh, relaxing which is calming that will help you to calm down uh, and you will have better sleep at night right so you can look into that and then slowly next month maybe you can reduce that uh, fourth cup of coffee so you already reduce uh, from 5 to 4 now 4 to 3 3 to 2 2 to 1 is slow and steady way but your system also doesn't go into that um shock of suddenly removing the caffeine because our system gets used to it also uh so we need to tune into like what is going to really work how we can gently remove these habits and how can we introduce what uh, is going to be very beneficial for us but also we should be able to enjoy that now healthy habits uh, for example eating healthy food is going to be very Im- impactful for your physical health uh, your emotional and mental health as well because as we know that some foods impact our mind quite strongly so noticing that like how maybe alcohol or coffee impacts your mind and how 
maybe reducing it or having it in moderation can change your life or maybe completely eliminating it from your life. Similarly, if you are eating a non-vegetarian food, uh, lean meat will be better for your system than the uh, red meat. You know, we all know that we heard it so many times. So looking into that, uh, vegetarian food is obviously has a lot of uh, positive things. But again, I totally understand that it is not everyone's cup of tea and that's okay. Uh, work with what is right for you. Slowly, steadily, maybe have more, as much vegetables as possible and less meat. And maybe that's the way to go for you. And maybe there there may come a la, uh, time in your life that you will turn towards vegetarian food more than the non-vegetarian food. Again, I'm not against the non-vegetarian food because some constitution, according to Ayurveda, do need non-vegetarian food. And also the type of work some people do, like, for example, soldiers. Because according to Ayurveda, uh, with that non-vegetarian food comes a lot of like uh, anger as well as strength, which soldier needs uh, to fight the war. And so um, in that case, uh, it's okay. Then also uh, with some health conditions, uh, the the bone broth and things like that are suggested. Uh, but also we see nowadays so many bodybuilders have proven that uh, even they uh, be becoming vegan and you can still bodybuild. So there is a lot of positive understanding about that. Uh, so tune into that, see, you know, who is your role model and what they are doing because there are so many amazing athletes who are using the vegan or vegetarian diet and they're still healthy and active. So the concept of, you know, non-vegetarian food gives us strength and all that is really um, slowly and steadily shattering. But again, that's not the topic today. The topic is how you can bring more uh, positive habits in your life. So tuning into what is not working for you is really, really important. So what habits Ayurveda suggests? Ayurveda has a really long list of habits which you can do. My uh, Ayurveda teacher Dr. Vasantla talks about about 20 uh, positive habits in the morning before uh, you start your work, you know. And uh, you can go into the, all those in detail or you can choose what really works for you. So the first thing Ayurveda talks about is uh, following the the rhythm of the day, rhythm of the nature. So let's to take a look at that understanding. We call it now a modern science, we call it circadian rhythm. So, you know, um, sleeping early or on time at night so that you can wake up early in the day. So if you start your day early, um, well, traditionally 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. is the time when you meditate because that's the that's where you get highest so, highest source of prana. Now, let's look at our modern life. It may not be possible, but waking up early on regular time, maybe... Uh, 6 a.m. or slightly before that, or finding your uh, sweet spot there and waking up early uh, is uh, really amazing. Ayurveda talks about waking up um, before sunrise. Now, uh, where we live, uh, the sunrise maybe sometimes can be very early because of the uh, angle of the sun. But uh, in India... Uh, and the sunlight doesn't change that much. So, um, you know, the day throughout the year, it's quite similar. The day start at certain time, end at certain time. So there's not much change there. But I know that I lived in uh, Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere as well. And I totally understand that. Also in Europe as well. That I understand that there could be... Um, you know, a sunrise can be really early, um, you know, could be even sometimes uh, 
ஃபைவ் ஏஎம் ஆர் ஃபோர் ஏஎம் ஆர் ஈவன் பிஃபோர் தேட் ஸோ ஜஸ்ட் பி மைண்ட்ஃபுல் தேட் யூ நோ வாட் இஸ் ஏர்லி ஃபார் யூ ஃபைன் தேட் அவுட் யூ ஷுட் ஹேவ் இனஃப் டைம் டு வேக் அப் காம்லி டூ த கிளென்சிங் ஆயுர்வேதா இஸ் பிக் ஆன் கிளென்சிங் த மவுத் த டங் த um you know reducing all the toxins from our system evacuating our bowels and uh, if you uh, can then sit for uh, do a um, little bit asana practice then uh, pranayam or breathing practice so physical movements breathing practice and then meditation practice so you find out what really works for you it, these practices doesn't take much time like you don't have to do one hour meditation practice if you can do that that will be wonderful but you find what is going to work for your life but uh, finding like some routine in the morning positive routine is really great then you can start your day with a uh you know uh, with breakfast you can move towards uh, your work with that positive note so you will start noticing that how this is quite amazing um and then having lunch on roughly le- regular time and at night uh, also uh, dinner at regular time and also winding down like slow slowing down towards the end of the day less screen time to before you go to sleep or maybe if you can avoid screen at least uh, one hour or half an hour before you go to sleep and reading uh, maybe books which are calming which are relaxing or finding something which will help you wind down we are all in a unique fingerprint of divine brings you relaxation may be really unique as well like you know reading books or restorative yoga practices which are very calming which are very relaxing may be practicing that if that works for you um simple pose like legs up the wall can give you so much uh, relaxation and comfort it's really calming and then that will help you to sleep better positive journal all these can be really really lovely to wind and down and and prepare for the nice uh, relaxing sleep once you um follow these routine for some time then the body get used to it and that has a positive inf- impact on our system then also consciously becoming aware of uh, are you drinking enough water what type of food you have so slowly you can start bringing in all these things uh, for you maybe or um, sometimes you want to switch up your uh, asana practice or physical movements with n- nature walk or maybe nature walk and asana practice and meditation see what works for you because it's really really up to you what you want to bring into your day to day life but consciously choose uh, positive habits and that's how we can do that uh, how can how we can bring in these positive habits I'm going to f- go further and and say that you know if you um uh, if you want these positive habit as a part of your life doing it with your loved ones or doing it with your uh, you know sangha uh, or your community uh, of like-minded people can be very impactful I uh, have done on the previous episode on the sangha or like-minded community and sangha uh, or like minded community can be a life transforming and what happens that in this like people uh, in these kind of communities people are helping each other to and everyone is on the same similar journey like everyone is trying this new habit and they are also noticing the positive impact they are also noticing how this is really changing their life so this way you can actually uh, sh- share the journey uh, or experience of the journey with like minded people and what happens that sometimes if say, uh, for example <laughs> i'll give example of meditation practice because i have gone through this kind of experience so meditation practice when you start uh, and no one in your family maybe taken has taken this practice 
and they is suddenly you start this meditation practice in your life and the family doesn't know like what is happening here and uh, you try to find a quiet spot uh, you know corner where you can meditate uh, and uh, you're trying to find your center and sometimes in meditation we have questions we have uh, inquiries we have um you know something comes in mind like am i doing this right or what's happening here and if we uh, if people around are not following this particular habit say for example uh, in my case it was meditation then it is very difficult to communicate with them about like you know your doubts or like they basically don't understand what you are talking about right and this is all new to you as well so then uh, it becomes a, a more confusing it uh, and also uh, we may feel very lonely on this path so what if you have say friends uh, uh, or your like minded people your sangha who do this and uh, regularly as well and they also on the similar boat like they also have questions and then Uh, it becomes easier to talk with them like when i found my sangha i felt like they're speaking my language or oh, these people know what i'm going through and it was such a wonderful thing uh some of these people are in my life uh, after so many years as well like it is just you know we may not meet every um day we may not even meet every year but when we meet it is just we just pick pick up from where we left off because we started this journey together and so we get each other very well and wherever we meet or communicate now there is such a deep respect and such a deep understanding about each other because we have gone through this experience together and we were together this particular group i'm talking about we did this uh, almost 3 three, three and a half years we were uh, meditating together very impactful very beautiful group you know and uh, it, it has been life transforming for me these kind of uh, friendships are such a beautiful experience that you know having your 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 own people basically supporting you and so i find that you know that kind of like community that sangha is very powerful then also about human uh, brain like uh, uh, how we are developed is um, our reptilian brain is and again this is very lay persons these are very lay persons term uh, so reptilian brain uh, is need regular regular practices you know that's how uh, that brain needs regular regular practices makes it feel safe so regular habits so what if these regular habits are positive habits you know that will be really great and then we have this frontal brain which needs a variety so what if we have this balance of positive habits and also a variety so for example uh, i'm going to give example of again nature walk so if you go for go for a nature walk every day it's a different experience you can take a different route you can explore you can go for hiking over the period of time but this is how you can bring in that variety into regularity right similarly on the path of meditation we are constantly evolving right so it is never the same every meditation is different and that's how it should be actually so every meditation experience every time is different so it is a beautiful journey to explore similarly with the physical movements the downward facing dog we did yesterday uh, and we did today is going to be different you know so if we bring awareness into it we start noticing that oh uh, you know my uh, arms are getting stronger or my uh, my spine is lengthening today i'm noticing that there is a lot of energy in my body 
and I'm noticing that the, the whole body is sinking with these movements. Or you may notice that, oh, today I'm feeling tired, so I need to pull back. So that's what awareness does for us. So every time when we become aware of uh, what's happening in our practices, that's the, that's the beauty of awareness. So these positive habits, regular exercises, regular, you know, uh, practices for mind, body, uh, regular practices for uh, keeping body active, also relaxing the body, you know, finding that balance of activeness and relaxation. Because we are multidimensional being, we also need creative habits like creating something new every day. It could be maybe a social media post for you or it could be, uh, you know, writing a, a, a blog or something like that. So find out what is your what, what is your creativity and doing one creative thing that will also that is also a good habit. But don't let these habit be burden of your life. Don't let yoga or meditation or nature walk become burden of your life. Uh, looking at these hab- habits that how they are essential and their life transforming, bring if you start bringing them into your life, you'll notice that these these habits can help you move towards your optimal health. So my question sometimes clients tell me that oh I don't want to wake up. Uh, you know, in the morning, oh my God, I feel this, I feel there's a lot of negativity about that. And so my question to them is like, how do you want to feel in say one year's time or two years time? And when I ask this question, a lot of them start thinking that, oh, I would love to have more energy. I would love to have an active body. I want to reduce weight. I want to have more energy. So these are, if these are the answers uh, you have, what you want in one year's time, it is not going to happen just with intention. You need to put effort into that. And so my suggestion is that looking at your habits, uh, that what is not working, remove that, add the ones, or uh, multiply the ones which are working for you, uh, find your community, work with them. I am also creating a community. So if you like what I offer, connect with me and I will talk, explain to you what I mean by community and how I can help you with it, you know. If you want, you can actually set up a clarity call, a wellness clarity call. Uh, it's a free, 15 minutes free call via Zoom. Uh, communicate with me um, uh, with that call and then uh, we can see what we what I can do for you, what is your goal and I will help you with that. Also, when we have positive habits, we start noticing more clarity uh, in our moving towards our life's purpose. So life's purpose is really really uh, amazing to understand but it it is a journey for us like we we may not understand it from the day we are born right so it is exploration but when we find our life's purpose it is amazing like it is life transforming when I realized that my life's purpose is to share wisdom of yoga ayurveda and meditation something clicked in me it just just relaxed my system like i i understood that yes that's that's the truth but reaching to that a moment of the truth it it took me through so much of a journey um and i learned so much in this journey that's how i can help people because i know what you have been you're going through and and what is that what is it that you need and so uh, with that intention uh, I'm, I'm offering this community so uh, book that uh, wellness clarity call and let's see what happens um, I hope you enjoyed this podcast uh, if you want to listen to any particular topic uh, you can always email me through my website and thank you for being here I really appreciate you
Thank you for listening. Bye for now. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate that that you're taking this time out of your day. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Bye for now.